don't walk through the market properly. I mean, they're everywhere, buying food and clothing like there's no tomorrow. But let me tell you the truth. It's actually been very good for us at the inn. We have not seen so much business in the 14 years that we've been open. <sighs> I don't know. You know, it's all about the money, right? That's how the world goes around. But for those of them who have it hard and rough, you know, it's, it's difficult. But it, that's not my problem. I'm not a charity, right? Okay. There was a couple that came yesterday, and I did feel sorry for them. The woman was very pregnant. And, you know, I thought maybe I should show a little generosity and, you know, a little compassion. So I was about to tell them there's no room in the inn. But I said, if you want to stay with the animals around the back, you can. And they were so grateful. I don't know. When I did it, I thought, am I crazy? I now had to go and spend half an hour cleaning up the stable and laying new hay. Whatever. Well, the baby is here. It's a boy. Very cute. <sighs> but you know, you shouldn't interfere too much in anything that's going on, right? You know that. But they have so many visitors coming. I couldn't believe it. There's, you know, yesterday what happened? Some shepherds came by. And I said, thank goodness that they're in the stable. Because I don't want them in my inn. They are a very rough set of people, and you know, you can't trust them. I mean, there's nothing to steal in the stable, but at the same time, you just can't trust them. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> because all I'm trying to say is I don't need them in the main house because of the people that they associate, associate with. Let's be honest. I have given them the most wonderful gift. I have been so generous to them. Because as I've always said, you must raise your children in a stable environment. <laughs> I've gone here. 